वेलकम एवरी वन टू अ न्यू वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो वी गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दी इवान सक्सेना रिडक्शन मैथड सो दिस मैथड इज एम्प्लॉयड वेन वी विश टू सिंथसाइज एंटी वन थ्री डायऑल फ्रॉम बीटा हाइड्रोक्सी कीटोन्स सो इन द लास्ट मैथड वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट दी नारास्का प्रसाद रिडक्शन मैथड इन विच वी कुड सिंथसाइज दी सिन वन थ्री डायऑल विद दी हेल्प ऑफ अ चलेटिंग एजेंट एंड सोडियम बोरोहाइड्रेट एज अ रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट वेयर एज इन द इवान सक्सेना मैथड रिडक्शन मैथड वट डू वी यूज इज बेसिकली अ टेट्रा मिथाइल अमोनियम ट्राइसिटॉक्सी बोरोहाइड्रेट एंड दिस रिएक्शन प्रोसीड्स अगेन बाय सिक्स मेम्बर ट्रांजिशन स्टेट सो दिस इज वट वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट द विड द मकैनिज्म एंड वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट द फ्री एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर रिडक्शन मैथड विच इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इट गिवज यू गिवज एक्सेस टू वन थ्री एंटी डायऑल ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो एज आई सेट दैट दिस पर्टिकुलर मैथड यूज इज बेसिकली डाइस्टोस्ट इलेक्ट्रिक रिडक्शन ऑफ बीट हाइड्रोक्सी कीटोन टू कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग एंटी डाय एल्कोहल्स एंड द रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट दैट वी यूज इन दिस पर्टिकुलर मैथड इज कॉल्ड टेट्रा मिथाइल एमोनियम ट्राइसिटॉक्सी बोरोहाइड्राइड ओके सो Uh, if we look at this is the exact mechanism of the reaction and what it says a six member transition state so let us see what is happening so here what we have is this beta hydroxy ketone so in the first step you can clearly see that uh, this uh, acetic acid it coordinates to the uh, acetate of triacetoxy borohydride you can see that now the lone pair of electron on oxygen it attacks the boron and acetate ion or you can say the acetic acid leaves so what it you form is this particular intermediate now what happens this acetic acid that is released because we are carrying out this reaction under acetic acid condition so what it does it coordinates with the oxygen to give you this particular transition state this is kind of a six member transition state now we will shift to this side now there are two ways there are two ways one is what what we calling a favored transition state and the second one we are calling is a disfavored transition state what do we mean by that now in the favored transition state we can clearly see that this oxygen this oh which is coordinated to hydrogen is axial whereas this alkyl group is present at the pseudo equatorial position and this is pseudo axial position there are two reasons why this particular transition state is favored one reason is there is no repulsion actually since it is this alkyl this uh, group is not present at the pseudo axial position which in this case we can clearly see that if it is present at the pseudo axial position there is a repulsion with the acetate groups of the boron so here apart from Uh, it uh, apart from the fact that it has no repulsion here the second thing we can clearly see there's a six member transition state between oh sorry six member intramolecular hydrogen bonding as well that is happening so if we count it as this ox hydrogen is coordinating with the lone pair of electron of this oxygen as well so you count it as hydrogen as 1 2 3 4 5 6 there are total six atoms that are involved and so this particular transition state apart from the fact that is it is free of steer x it is also stabilized by the intramolecular hydrogen bonding okay so now the hydride is delivered here so what do you end up getting is the nt13 diol and why it is nt we can clearly see this is a six member transition state and the oh group which is behind is equatorial and this actual this is going to be end up being at the axial position so under substitution is 1 3 we know in the case of cyclohexane 1 3 equatorial axial is nothing but trans okay so th that's the reason why we are calling it anti 1 3 diol and since this particular conformer is or transition state in fact is disfavored that's why we do not end up getting the syndiol so the most important thing that you should remember whenever you are dealing with the beta hydroxy ketone and you see tetramethyl ammonium triacetoxy borohydride it has to give you the nt13 diol as the product okay now let us look at the important example of this particular reduction method so here what we have is this for uh, first example we can clearly see we have the uh, a functional group uh, as pmb 
there so this is nothing but an prime both the primary alcohol is protected as pmb ether and benzyl ether so under this reduction condition these two are tolerated so what do we end up getting is a reduction of this ketone so this is nothing but beta hydroxy alpha beta hydroxy under evans saxena method okay so what do we end up getting is the 13 anti so in the second method again you can just see the utility and the milder condition of this particular reaction condition that the even the acetonite per functional group acetonite is generally can be deprotected under acidic condition using hcl but for acetic acid it does not deprotect the acetonite group so functional groups like benzoate acetonite ether oh, sorry esters tbs and this is also an ether linkage so you can see that all these functional groups are tolerated under this reduction condition so here what we have is again alpha beta beta hydroxy keto which under the reduction condition gives you the anti stereochemistry and in this method as well same condition what you end up getting is the anti product and uh, yes here also what we has alpha beta subjected to the reduction condition what you end up getting is the anti so the reason why i'm taking so many examples so that you should be aware about the synthetic utility of this particular transformation or reduction reaction and oh so this is an interesting example you can clearly see so here what we have is a chiral auxiliary and what we are doing is basically a evans reduction method this is nothing but a evans uh, a saxena method so here what we are doing basically this is a hydroxy which is alpha beta so under these condition this ketone is getting reduced and this particular ketone has been left untouched so you can clearly see the selectivity of this process that's it does not reduce this particular oh so it means this in a way proves that this particular reaction involves the coordination with oxygen and it delivers the hydride onto the this particular carbonyl okay and the a rearrangement that we sorry not the rearrangement and the relationship between both these hydroxies are anti and this is a chiral auxiliary as i said it is left untouched and also the stereochemistry at the other center has been not been altered such a important and good example this is a very very good examples from exam point of view and let's let's look at one more example and again here what we have is again a beta hydroxy ketone subjected to reduction under these condition to give you the 13 anti uh, anti diol okay so again here if we have to be as an acid acetate group has been tolerated and the there is no reduction of the lactone ring took place okay so now i i re i really feel that this particular example that i have taken this has a very very good probability of being asked in the exam or a similar question the reason being it involves two concept the one concept it involves is basically the uh, synthesis of first of all since what we are using is dicyclohexyl borone borone chloride which forms the borone enolate and then what we are carrying out is an aldol condensation followed by what we are doing is this evans saxena reduction so this is the product of this particular reaction and i feel this is a very high probability of being asked in the exam so let us look at the mechanism so the first part actually i have already made a video on the borone enolate and the aldol reaction so i can strong strong strongly suggest you guys to watch that video i am sure the mechanism which i have shown here will be absolutely clear so let's look at the what is happening so we know that when we whenever we use dicyclohexyl borone chloride okay under these condition what do we end up getting getting is the formation of the e enolate that is the major so this is the e enolate now what we are doing is you are reacting it with the aldehyde and we clearly understand whenever you use the e enolate you will always end up getting is the anti aldol so here what we have is the relationship between both this group is anti okay this is something that we know 
and uh, this reaction proceeds via a highly ordered transition state which is what something what we call the Jim Zimmerman Traxler transition state so we can clearly see why is it so order it is because this particular so okay so we know that the stereochemistry around this particular double bond okay it means that this has a stereochemistry that is E okay you cannot change that you just cannot change it, it means that the uh, this particular hydrogen being at this position and this particular function at the pseudo axial this is at the pseudo uh, axial position you cannot change that but the aldehyde that is approaching that can be you know oriented itself in a different position for example this particular functional group at the aldehyde aldehyde is at the back side this can be at the pseudo axial or it can be pseudo equatorial so it prefers to stay at the pseudo equatorial position so i'm just telling you all the concepts that i have already explained in that particular video so you will clearly understand why are you getting this anti aldol now actually the stereochemistry at these two center has been directed by the methyl group okay just keep that particular thing in mind now when you are subjecting this particular compound to Ivan's succinal reduction we have understood that what we have is a beta hydroxy so what you will end up getting is uh, get is the 13 anti okay and the reaction proceeds via six member transition state here again, the elk, uh, the R group would prefer to stay at the equatorial position because this particular intermediate is stabilized not only by stearics but also by the intramolecular hydrogen bonding, which with which is not shown here, but it is there. Okay, and that is the reason why you get this particular product. So this is a very important example with a very high probability of being asked in the exam. I hope like you like the video. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. If like. The video and share it with your friends very important if you like my work subscribe to the channel so please take care of yourself and have a very good day bye